Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, we had an expedition out, and unfortunately, one of the ships got damaged on its way back. I will show you here. There we go. Yeah, one of the ships has a damaged component, and it's, of course, my best one. So I'm going to need to fly over to that ship and fix it before we send it out anywhere else. But there's also the Alone am Amidst the Stars. Wow, I can talk. Really, I can't. Uh, there's that that I need to do. Oh, hello. That's a big ship. As a big ship that I'm sure I'm not going to be able to afford. On top of the fact that it's not my color scheme so this is good enough all right up we go we're gonna have to fly over to my ship that's damaged luckily it tends to have a nice little marker that tells me where the damaged ship is so i can go over and fix it now the main trick is also getting there while also not damaging my own ship is. Ah, there we go. Alright. Aye! Our vessel is failing! We cannot endure long in this state! Help us, traveler entity! Help us repair this damage! Okay, inspect the damage report. Fleet auto diagnostics report internal damage containment systems failing. Hull integrity approaching failure. Urgent repairs needed. Mark the damaged component and I will walk over and fix it. Well, apparently there are several components that are broken. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Repair the damaged frigate components. Well, that should be easy. Some of them are a little further down, but these ones are right here. So, should be quick and easy. Hopefully. Systems access panel requires 15 tritium. The gearing mechanism for this device. The lubricant that keeps it operational appears to have been replaced with an otherworldly green goo, and the gears are now stuck. Well, now I fixed that. And it is the same issue here. I've now fixed. And same issue here that I've now fixed. Beautiful. Um, heading downwards, I think we go this way. Yes, that will reach that one. Then the other one is over there. Ah, let's get this one. Damaged cargo pod. Uh-oh. Same issue. Otherworldly green goo. Good. Now, well, never seen one of those actions before, so I was kind of entranced by the movement. All right, and this would be the engine core itself. All right. And just more tritium. And now it's operating. There we go. That's what you like to see. Repair the damaged frigate components. I have done so. Now it's time go back to my ship and send this on another run. Hopefully one where it doesn't get damaged. <laughs> Hopefully. Alright. And we will eventually do what we see do. Don't. Remember the thing where I said I wasn't going to damage my ship? Yeah, about that. <laughs> I'm not good at that. Uh, where's my frigate? go. I know I flew upwards to reach the ship. That's about as far as my brain remembers. There it is! Haha! -ha. There's my capital ship. And not necessarily the one I was aiming for, but it worked. Perfect. Get off! And we get right back up to sending them on their next thing. 
will they succeed in that thing? Probably not. Depends on how difficult that it wants to be. Oops. Not exactly what I meant to do. But it works. Alright. Navigator and Senecern. And Senecern? I don't know. They're all weird words. Whoa, that one's a long one, and it's a low difficulty rating. It might actually be doable. Key phrase, it might. Hmm. Alright, it's a balanced one as well, so I can just send everyone. Hopefully no one gets damaged again. That'd be great. Hey! And the fleet rating exceeds the difficulty rating, which means it might work out. Gods, I hope so. Yeah, the, uh, as you might have remembered from last episode, the uh, fleet was sent to a mission where the difficulty ranking outpaced the fleet ranking. And that was why the ship came back damaged. So, this time around, hopefully, there won't be any problems. But with that now out of the way, we will now finish up with turning to the alien life form and asking about Artemis' location. And that means we go back to which planet? I think it was... Repainzib. That's what it was. All right. Quick fly over. And then when we're down on the planet, we'll check out that planetary chart. See if there's any potential places of interest on this planet. there, and it has its own landing pad, so I don't need to worry about trying to make my own. Ooh! I see some stuff over there we might be able to use. Oh, there's some over there, too. Nice. Nice. Very, very nice. I need to talk to you, buddy. As I approach the life form, the lights in its shell casing begin to brighten and constrict, chattering noises issuing forth. You hold out a scanner. It is unclear if Artemis' translator is working. Scan the Corvax. Information exchange possible. We only require a small sample of your organic components in a full technology scan. Why? The life form becomes agitated and upset, the lights on their masks starting to dilate and flicker. The l okay. The life form's shell casing begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it is clear that my tool interferes with their own. Persist. The life form grows increasingly irritated. Oops. The life form's chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. Um, say you are a traveler. This, this data is invaluable to the Corvax Convergence. Thank you, traveler. I will of course assist you. Give the star chart. I ask the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis' location. Location does not exist, traveler. <laughs> Nothing is more tragic than a corrupted piece of code. Could you have made a mistake? Corvax seems momentarily confused, as if the concept that they could have made a mistake has never even been considered. They claim their systems are infallible, superior to the judgment of any organic life form. I apologize and leave. Welp. That, uh... That's unfortunate. Data is said to not exist. That can't be good. Like at all. Like, literally, at all. That really can't be good. Ugh. 
mean, I guess it could be worse, but... Do I have things equipped to my exosuit? I don't have the main thing that I need. Crap. I could do it, though. Could do it. It would be smart to do so. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. Much better. And now let's plot the route from that. Let's see where it sends me. Alien monolith detected. It's not that far away either. It's really not that far away. It's really close by. All right. Well, with that in mind, let's go. All right, where that actually was to my left. I'm an idiot. There we go. We and there's the thing that I was going to pick up too. So I'll just land right here, around here. There we go. This should be good enough for both. Now, with that thing I just installed, I should be able to collect... Oh, wow, there's a lot more of them than I thought. Uh, hmm. Oxygen, all right. Yeah, I had a feeling it would do that. All right, get your scan out of the way. Get it done. There we go. Thank you. Now that you're done with that, I'm moving on. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Alright. Now to get a whole bunch of these. Which y'all will understand why in a second. This is solar vines. And it gives me selenium. This is a very useful agricultural product. In its base form, it isn't sold for very much. But in the future, oh, in the future, when I am making things, making very valuable things to make lots of money, it's going to be very useful. So it is important that I have a whole lot of it. Well, hello. You are certainly a thing. All right. Okay. I'm just going to collect all of them here. <laughs> the way... They <laughs> uh, the way they uh, <laughs> wiggle around after you've collected... Uh, hmm... The way they wiggle around afterwards is always so funny to me. Luckily, they don't get annoyed if you're just grabbing agricultural products. It's only if you're mining that the uh, sentinels get annoyed. Which is nice. It's very nice. And semi-predictable. Now, nah, I could swear I collected some of these already. I could swear I collected some of these already. I mean, hey, I'll take more. There's no reason to not collect more. But I'm just I'm just so sure I didn't miss any on my first sweep. But oh well. Oh come on. Let me actually get the thing. There we go. There we go. Cool. Oop. Yep, and there we go. There's one last one I think. Out of all of them. Yeah, just the one last one. What the? Hello. Didn't see you. Big frog thing. Here we go. Oh, I dropped a whole bunch of frames. I apologize wherever that frame drop was. Alright, we. Now we head over to where that thing is. You know what? Just 
gonna mine a couple of these. Because I could use the phosphorus later. Plus, the, uh, the ferrite dust is always useful. Be useful forever. Literally. Forever. Ooh. An unidentified one. Pure ferrite and phosphorus. Even better. Ferrite is a very, very, very useful thing. It is impossible to understate just how useful it is. It is extremely useful. So there is always reason to collect it. Always. Literally always. There we go. And... I'll call that good. I use my ship to... Uh, deal with my hazard protection. Jump right in. Let it recharge. And good. And we will run right over here. If that's not before we collect all of this. There's no reason not to. It's right there. Up, up, but okay. I had a feeling they would do that. But luckily, I was done before they scanned me. Hello. Bye bye. Little shit. <sighs> they are always annoying bastards. Always annoying bastards. Oh. This one's a big one that has carbon. Well, how can I turn that one down? Cool. Alright. This is a big old honking monolith. They were right on that one. Alright. Corvex word for butt. <laughs> Booty. Okay. Corvex. Corvex word for do. Atlas. Interesting. Journey milestone achieved. Polyglot learned 80 words. Yay! Time to collect all of these. Get some of these as well. And then we start to melt this thing down. There we go. As quickly as we possibly could. Oops. And overheated. That was bound to happen, honestly. Alright. This is a lot of stuff, honestly. I don't see why not. When it comes to mining it all up, might as well. Alright. The more supplies I have now, the less I need to collect in the future. And overheated again, I figured. I figured it would. Alright. Now that I've done that, let's actually see what this monolith is about. Corvax Echoes will blank the traveler. Corvax Echoes will blank the traveler's technology. But that word is repeated, so it's the same word. I wonder what it means. Tiny floating tetrahedrons emerge from the planet's surface and surround me. I try to wave them away with my multi-tool, but each time they swarm closer to it, as if attracted to it somehow. I raise my multi-tool, and they shimmer blue as they dart this way and that, closer and closer. They are within touching distance of my multi-tool. They make one final surge. Let them in. My multi-tool glows bright blue. 
the color spread seeping up my arm. With a sudden surge, the electric glow reaches my brain. I pass out. I awake. Reality is restored. I find myself in possession of a new piece of multi-tool technology. A blaze javelin. An aggressive weapon attachment for the multi-tool. Access fire mode by pressing Y and fire weapon with RT, obviously. The blaze javelin delivers instantaneous damage on targets. Plasma charge process creates an ionized gas arc to propel projectiles at great speed. User will perceive destructive results simultaneously to the pull of the trigger. Interesting. Interesting. I don't need to install it, though, that's for sure. Mainly because I don't have room. I don't have any extra slots for it, so we'll, we'll just go without. Hey, some more of that. Some more of these. Always nice. Perfect. And... Hmm. Warp cell for my ship. I could use getting more chromatic metal. I could use getting more of it. Oh, I just noticed I missed one of those. That was silly of me. Huh. I could always use more pure ferrite. Because pure ferrite is a very useful thing for later on. For late game stuff. I'm assuming. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly. I just know that a lot of big, cool things use pure ferrite. That's all I know. <laughs> mind that much of that thing. Oh well. And pop. Goes the weasel. Alright. I think I've gotten everything I really need here. With that in mind, I get out of here. And we head to my ship, which is actually over here. I'm an idiot. I am a Moran. I am the Idiota. I am the Buffoon. I am the Pinche Pendejo. Okay. I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm going to stop. Is this... Okay, that's already a thing I know. Okay, cool. Those things over there, though. I'm just making sure if that was a texture issue or if they're actually new. Okay, it was a texture issue because those are what I recognize the other things to be. So, yep. I think I've gotten almost everything so far when it comes to uh, scanning things. I could use more dihydrogen. <laughs> I could always use more dihydrogen. Okay. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Cool. And with that... Oh, I almost got all of it. Apparently missed some behind the big honking rock. But it's fine. I'll just drill it so it doesn't obscure vision ever again. Aha. I laughed into my can of <laughs> my can of energy drink. Son of a Oh ah, it takes less of these. There we go. Then we'll just mine this down. And there we go. Perfect. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. With all these creatures running around. 
This one was native to this sort of planet. All right. Let's summon him. Hello, big pita. How you doing? Excited, best friend. All. Oh. Yay. Oh, you're so fluffy. So big, fluffy, and cute. All right. Induce an egg? I can induce an egg? Look! Have grown egg! Smart, smart pita! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Viable egg. Well, I'll take that for sure. Feeling hungry. Oh, no. Hungry. Let's give you some creature pellets, huh? There we go. That gets you all full. Cool. Just making sure that I understand the native life out here. Oh, boy. It is getting a little low. My, uh... Hazard protection. Bye, suit friend. Bye, Pita. Gonna get back into my ship real fast. Really, really, really fast. Alright. Here we go. Perfect. Now let's recharge my... Actually, not my hazard protection. Let's recharge my... Life support. There we go. Companion egg, which will be ready to hatch in another day. Cool. Whoops. That went to my ship for some reason. <laughs> Alright, well. <sighs> Can't do anything until I get that one cool thing. What the... I... I put PETA... In my inventory, right? Then, was this the planet? Was this the planet where Peta came from? I guess it was. I'll be damned. All right, cool. Anyway, we're done here. Time to move on. Oops, doodle. I don't need that in my log. I'm getting rid of it. Don't need that. There we go. Construct a storage container, huh? I guess I kind of have to to continue that on at all. Okay. Where is my base anyway? Is it over there? I guess it is. Whoop, Jesus. Frequency from Artemis. There you are! I found high ground, I think. When you arrive, I'll fire my multi-tool into the air to l mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Tell Artemis what happened. That someone told me the space that you told me exists does not exist. I tell Artemis the locals could not decipher their star chart. The alien even went so far as to claim those stars did not exist. That's impossible. I can't have traveled that far from charted space. You found my ship. How did you get there? As I speak, the line begins to crackle with interference. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars... They've altered since I've made the chart. Blinked out of... How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... It is quiet at first, but it is there, unmistakable, growing steadily louder with each passing moment. A sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. Try to comfort Artemis, I guess. I try to comfort Artemis, but my words feel strangely hollow. I can do nothing. Artemis speaks to me again. I discovered the glyphs for a portal traveler. A gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now... I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathway collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in the darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I... I was 
so wrong. I... I can see their faces. I... There... There are seeds of glass within there. Ask for the glyphs. They're gone. My data fragmented and... It's I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travelers. I didn't... Sixteen. Warn your face. It... Please, not yet. I'm not... The signal cuts off. As it crackles into oblivion, I hear a name through the static. Apollo. Register the ID. A frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Well, I guess we'll have to go to a hollow terminus and figure out who the fuck this Apollo is. Bring news of Artemis' signal lost to Nada. Well, I could do that too. Unsafe trajectory. Oh! Well. Interesting that that happened right then. Considering. Alright, well. Um, recruitable frigate. Okay, greetings, traveler. Do you seek to expand your fleet? Well, I'm pretty sure I can't afford you, but I'll check. Yeah, I'm right. I can't afford you for shit. God damn it. Be nice if I could. I could use more ships, but I just, I just don't have the money. Don't have the money nor the capacity. Oop, okay. I meant to go here. Whee! Okay. Head back to the base. And we'll build a storage container. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> that was a little too close. It was a little too close. All right. Well, could have been worse. Could have been much worse, considering. Ancient ruins. How are these ancient ruins? I made this damn place. God damn it. Why do you keep saying it's ancient ruins? All right. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, hmm. Storage container. There we go. Jesus, it is massive. Trying to find a place to put it is pretty hard. Um, maybe here? Next to the base? Perhaps. Definitely changing the color of it. So it matches the rest of it. There we go. We did the construction. Ta-da. Although I also need to power it up, apparently, because that makes sense. Okay, industrial. I don't have any industrial uses for anything, so... Might as well just do this. There we go. Get it powered up. It's a storage container. Oh! Provides me access to the stuff that I have on the... Ah. Uh, Okay. All right. That ain't too bad. Now, if only I could access the other storage containers. That'd be great. All right. So that's why it needs power. Because it basically acts as a... Like a bag of holding of sorts, I guess, is the only way my brain wants to fucking... call it. It's a bag of holding that can be accessed from my frigate and now here, and wherever I build Mark Zero ones like this. Interesting. Very interesting. No wonder it requires power. Alright. Okay. Is there a way I can just, like, fix coloration on this? Because, boy, oh boy. Why is... 
why is this whole place, like, falling apart? I <laughs> leave it for, like, a few seconds. Just, like, a few seconds. Man, okay. Outpost signal detection. Da -da -da. Locate nearby structures? I could do that. But I don't see the point. So we won't do that. Okay. Oh, there is some dihydrogen here, though. No reason to turn down that. Not while I have an opportunity to get it. And get some of this, because carbon and oxygen is always very useful. Cool. What is this? What is this? It's cobalt. How much cobalt do I have? I could use more. Alright. Especially since this is so close by. Oh, geez. Okay. Alright. Let's back up a little bit, huh? Alright. Just getting all of this without getting too much of other things that I don't want. It's going to be a little difficult, but I can probably manage it. Maybe. Maybe being the key phrase. Alright. Okay. Oh. Oh. I ended up going so far down, I found another source of cobalt. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> I did manage to find another source of cobalt while doing this. Well. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Getting it all is going to be a pain, but I should be able to manage it, I think. Oh! It also leads down into a cave system, which makes it a little easier to try and mine from. Alright. Plus, gives me a lot of silicate powder or whatever it's called. Silicate... Yeah, silicate powder. I was right. <laughs> Sometimes I'm right. Who'd have thunk it? I sure didn't. Alright. Um, yeah, that's... I think pretty much all of it. Well, I say that as I think I see a fine one. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're as good as we're going to get. And these are cobalt, cobalt, carbon, and sulfurine. Interesting. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Didn't realize there was another one behind it. Okay going to be mining a little bit, getting some cobalt, which is always good. Alright. Get that out of the way. And, yeah. Might as well. Might as well. Because a lot of it is still coming out, so. If I'm still getting more of it out of the mining process, then it's still there. Even if it doesn't want to show quite exactly. There we go. Cool. Alright, I think I'm done here. Get out of here. Whoop. Also, let's get rid of this little hanging bit here. 
cool. Oh boy, getting out of here is going to be difficult. Alrighty. Okay. Nice. Let's recharge that with a little bit of silicate. Just fine, because I'm still going to be holding on to a ton. I need more magnetized ferrite. I need a lot more, in fact. That is pure ferrite. Okay. Makes it a little easier. find mining on this planet just to be far easier because there's less issues. I mean, yeah, there's the occasional, you know, hungry, angry predator, but those are few and far between. Paraffinium deposit. Extremely close, even. Well, I mean, it's right there. I don't see why not. Ow. This would also give me more dike. Well, I mean, as long as I don't have to kill things to get more dike, it's probably a good thing. All right, I'm gonna have to make sure I have the bolt caster on because I'm pretty sure these guys will be angry. Yes, they will. All right, well. Oh, bye. Sorry, didn't want to have to kill you, but y'all made me have to can't let you go ahead and kill me. <laughs> it's not a good thing to be doing. Alright, let's check my cargo. Salvage data. Okay. Let's just grab all the paraffinium while I can. There we go. that that and I think keep race think oh. yeah I think I'm done I think I'm done mining it cool the fact that these guys don't fall down anymore it's a little funny to me oh and they're fuzzy oh now I feel kind of bad. <laughs> well, this one isn't, but that one is. It's a little weird. It's a weird dichotomy. It's a difference between the fuzzy ones and then the ones that are... scaly. I don't know. I really don't know. Interesting. Anyway, well, we're done with that. And I feel it is time to head out to head over to the Anomaly and see what Nada has to say. Nada and Polo, I guess. So, we will go ahead and do that. Whee! But in the meantime, I'll see if I can drop off any of my other stuff, which I probably could. Yeah, there we go. Perfinium goes right in. And we're good. Nice. Alright. Skylark of the skies. Or rather of the stars. And... Wait, what? Oh. There's <laughs> apparently a humming sack just over there. Underground. Eh. It's fine. No real need to. He will fly away, though. Whee! Alright. We will head over to the anomaly. Perfect. Oh, jeez. I almost didn't see it. Kind of ends up blending into the uh, background 
color. All right. We will get... There we go. Initiating landing sequence. Perfect. We do have significant salvage data. It's always very nice. Oh, okay. I always get to see some cool ships of people who are in the anomaly. It's taking, taking damage from starship fire. What? shouldn't be able to fire while you're in here. It's crazy. Oh, the egg sequencer. Oh. Death by ship combat. How, how did how'd that happen? Why did that happen? That's weird. That is weird. Whoa. I think I'm witnessing something weird going on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm witnessing something weird going on. Not sure what to think about it. Well, here we are at the egg sequence, sir. We can actually alter our companion egg before it hatches. But I don't know what we'll do. Um... Die injector. I don't know what that would do. Personality. Decreasing. Helpfulness decreasing. No, I don't want that. No. Oh, no. No, I don't want that either. Uh, oxygen? Would that do it? No. I want it to be helpful, gods damn it. How do I make it more helpful? Oh. Uh. Die hydrogen, perhaps? Yes! Hmm. Well, that increases the independence. Oh. Not necessarily what I want. Mm. I don't want to use chromatic metal. Um... Scaly meat? No. Okay. But putting that there. Coloring? Unstable? No. Anatomy? Unstable? No. We have a decrease? That's weird. How would I increase it? No. How do I increase it? No. Damn it. Uh, duck, damn it, damn it. Oh, oxygen will do it. Well, that makes sense. Okay, cool. We'll go with that. Um, that decreases the helpfulness. Damn. Uh, Mordite? Would that do anything? That would decrease the gentleness. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> okay. Um, selenium increases their independence. That's not what I want either. Boy. Uh, let's just increase their uh, weight and height. That seems good. That seems good enough. Just adjust it a little bit. Ow. Scans indicate the being within has the genetic potential to be very large and gentle. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. PETA's genetic material. Oh, we'll put that over there. How much oxygen did I end up using? Oh, pretty much all of my spare oxygen. <laughs> Welp. Okay, well, 
Uh, I'm going to end the episode here for right now, and then we're going to move on to uh, spending my salvage data on something good, I'm sure. Hopefully. And then we'll talk to not after that. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying our damnedest to finally get Artemis. And apparently Artemis is in a system that doesn't exist, in a place that doesn't exist. None of it makes sense. So we're going to try our damnedest to try and make that make sense. Here's hoping we can. For you!